we're gonna have to fucking go with that because let's <laughs> we can here we, we fucking can just chuckle at the absurdity of it all. I mean, there's enough happening now that we'll just have a laugh a minute, you know, when we start talking. I mean, you know, potential you indeed. Know, so uh, uh, Israeli uh, extension of the war, Donald Trump being pulled higher than Biden for president of the United States. Uh, however, what could go wrong? And here's the thing. I'm going to start the show with this. Here's the thing. Is that start it? Start it. All oh, it's it. a year away as of yesterday. The election is a year away. Oh dear, oh dear. Polls yep. show Trump beating Biden. Why? Seventy four percent of the American people the poll based on blah 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 believe that Biden is too frail and not up to being the president. Seventy four percent. And in a head-to-head matchup, Trump beats him by four points. The only Republican who doesn't beat him is DeSantis, right? And these are what the polls nice. are. So in the meantime, yeah, wringing of hands and wetting of the bed and all this stuff. And, and here Trump is only four years younger than Biden, and he's... He's talking about running a, that he beat Obama instead of, you know, in in the act of former blah, blah, election blah. And, and blah blah blah. But yesterday there's an election, a real election. So people are talking to a pollster and telling them how they feel. They're not talking to a pollster yeah. and talking about something that will happen in a year. This is an actionable event. These are people actually being faced with the reality of what they're looking at in that booth, which they full well know before they get there. And what do they do? Yep. In Kentucky, that Trump won by 20 points, they reelect the Democratic governor with a bigger margin than he won the first time. In Ohio, wow. They 70 by 14 points, they pass a referendum that puts abortion rights into the Constitution of the United States. Trump won that state by 20-some nice. points. In Virginia, the Republican, oh, he's, you know, he's, he's like, you know, if he ran for president, it would change anything, Yankin, because he's, you know, national ban on abortion and all this other right-wing horse shit. He's pushing hard in Virginia. They're having elections for the House and the Senate and the state, the state legislature, one currently controlled by Republicans, one currently controlled by Democrats. He goes out and puts it face forward, and everybody's saying, when he gets this to happen, he is going to catapult as the potential number two candidate for president of the United States. Well, what happened was both chambers went full Democratic. In five other states nice. that had abortion referendums, the woman's right to choose with her doctor won in every single state. Listen to that, look at that, and put that in context of your polls. Nice. Okay? The polls. Show How many people are, are on the yeah. phone and say, well, I'm going to have fun with this? I don't like Biden. All right, you're in a you're in a voting booth, and now you're going to pull the lever for Trump or Biden. Do you still not like Biden? You still like Trump enough? Well, so so. And Trump very well could be doing it. Will likely be doing it as a convicted felon, which he is not yet. He's only a rapist, according That's to the civil true. court. The day that well, yeah. judgment came I mean, down, that who, accused who him. Right? Uh, and he lost this 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 bid, a million dollars, for this writer named Carol. That the judge said you raped her, and you got to quit. And you, because you've lied about it, you've slandered her. You owe her a bunch of money. And they, the next day, he did it again on national television. She sued him again. He raped her again? She sued him again. Huh. That's coming up. He's already been found to be a rapist. Evangelicals are still behind him. Duh. Women are still behind him. Yeah, yeah. 
it's it's hard to believe, but these things, these poles. But we we knew this we knew this five years ago. We knew that he was a grab him by the pussy sort of a. It person. was, it was suspected by his detractors, like, but it wasn't. <coughs> that's all the news is here now, between that and the, <laughs> the terrible war, and you know Biden, as you well know, I'm sure you're following this international stuff is it yes of course he put his arms around Netanyahu even though he's had a troubled relationship with him and not always agree with him and knowing full well politically the Netanyahu is a right wing autocrat who was not paying attention on October 7th Mr. Big I defend uh-huh. Israel is my job he's never admitted that he did it and Biden right. Hugs him. Now he looks like an albatross across his neck, and as the whole world is clamoring for a ceasefire, and Biden is saying, it "Doesn't have to be a ceasefire; it just needs to be a pause. It doesn't need to be days." And Bibi Netanyahu is is like toying with it. And at the end of the day, what Biden's going to have to do is he's going to have to be crossways with Netanyahu the sooner the better and say you've killed thousands of women and children and you can't show what you did in terms of Hamas except destroying where they were as opposed to destroying and killing them and oh by the way how the fuck do you kill an idea how do you bomb the fuck out of an idea because that's what Hamas is it's not a right. person. Yep, yep, yep. I, I think you should be able to hug people Me that too. you don't agree with. Me too. Me too. I, All I, I'm I, using that I, as an I'm analogy to say. But, but also, I feel like it's so this this is this situation is so difficult because. Hamas is in a thing, an idea, an ideology that does not represent all of and, and, the Palestinians. Uh, and, and, but, but, but it also represents a a very literal threat to the clearest threat the Israelis possible. To, to, it's, to the it Israelis. says in its so, introduction. Yeah. So you have to you have to somehow extinguish this uh, these this sect of the people on the other side of the border. That uh, here's a question for so you: Hamas difficult. ran the like, government in Palestine. Ran the government. To what extent? Were they running the government as a result of the will of the people? But I think the answer is, I heard a gentleman say the other day on air that, let's be clear about it, it wasn't that they they were voted in once, but but their, their next and current was a coup, which I, I don't, do you know about it? A coup within that their the, own the the, the system. Hamas was not running the government, and they staged a coup. And I and if this is the if this is the case, sure. That you, I, it, this should, this is a fact that we should know. This shouldn't be something we're guessing about. It'd be something that people are really talking about. You know, because it's often said, well, you know, you voted him in, you voted Hamas in. Well, I think they did, according to this. Line I've got in my head. Look, I I I think it comes down to uh, the the strategies from both sides. Uh, whereas Hamas is willing to put innocent uh, women and children, we'll say, uh, as shields. Yes. 
to pr- to protect themselves and also have their headquarters under or a, a refugee hospital, camp, as the case uh, of the, where the bombing this past week, and, which killed and, many women and children. And, and so, so there's 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 that, and then there's the Israeli side that is like trying to do their best to not kill civilians. As as, as and I think and, you can. And, and on that point, if you are you, if you decide that you're going to bomb a refugee camp. Okay, tell me, tell me why, tell me why no, I would Israeli yeah. uh, army power and intelligence. Tell me why they couldn't have gone there and raided that refugee camp. Did they kill so many Hamas members as to make it worth its while? Is the number of Hamas members they killed more than what they might have killed if they had done something like a? how we killed Osama bin Laden. We didn't bomb his house. We went into his house and he was shot. We killed a shitload of, of uh, Afghanistan people. Well, well yeah, certainly, but, yes. but, but it doesn't match what we're talking here. You see my point of between a bombing of a refugee camp and something a little bit more precise... I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I'm like, what the it's, fuck? I want to know the numbers, it, man. You killed 4,000 people. What, do, how many but, Hamas did you kill? And how could you, how could you count that? Because I guess who's, who's in the tunnel? Be like, oh, yeah. If you bomb them, who's in the tunnel? If you attack them, who's in the tunnel? If you infiltrate the place, who's in the tunnel? The damn Hamas soldiers are not hanging around in the fucking refugee camp in the kitchen cooking slop. They might be. Well, it's like how you well, can't right. measure that. All right. It's unmeasurable. So but why don't you know so that if you've got the if you've got the two countries in the world with two of the top three or four, including Russia and China, intelligence capabilities in the world do you not know that, that why don't you know that we fucking know everything else if you know it's a refugee camp why the well, fuck can't you drop a satellite and a microphone inside the fucking place and do a mission impossible slip through the air ducts and fucking do 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 kill about three of these fuckers or whatever I don't get it you just it just you just bomb it. So this is why this is why it's so no, I, well, complicated. What's the other side of it? Because well, it's how do, like how do you defend that? Not that you are or anybody. How do you how defend? Do, well, what? what's the response to that? What what, what 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 does Israel say to what I'm saying? What what is their response? Is what would it be? Do you think their response would be well? Should we do? Should we do no, nothing? We, to you no, know, I didn't say that. Respond? You should go in and do a precise strike. Why are you saying you should do nothing? I'm just asking you the question. Why did you reject that option? You certainly thought about it. You certainly it was in the mix. So it's it's always easy to say. Why don't you do a precise strike to to eliminate these exact people? And I think that's not always. I don't think it's easy. easy either. I don't think, I think it's immediate. That's for damn sure. So, so at some point you've got this. You, you have to choose. Do we like we've we've seen all this like in watching Homeland and all that on all that t- television and stuff. Like uh, we don't know if this is necessarily the person. Should we drop the bomb or should we yeah, not? I'm, or I'm, I'm we conf- don't know if that's I'm the right person at, or whatever. I'm confused at the question. As soon as it's clear that it's known that in that bombing you will kill innocent women and children. Once that's known. Yeah, yeah, but that's 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 what that's what the other side is happy. Of course, to do. it is, because they're immoral and we're not. Okay, so we're, we're at a we great as, disadvantage as, as because Israelis. we're moral and they're not. The call 
to call to rise right. above the carnage of war. Say, so, oh well, it's war. Women and children are killed. No shit. But you tell me, in a country that's 25 miles fucking long, that you can drive to through in 30 minutes, you tell me why the solution, that is the the, the pick solution, includes thousands of women and children in a place that small with all the power of Israel's army and the United States of fucking America with warships and gunships and everything fucking pointed at them. Right? Why with all that do you say, you know what, it's just quicker and easier. We're just going to go ahead and fucking kill a bunch of Hamas, close down a tunnel that's one of their headquarters by fucking bombing it. And and that's the cost of war. Maybe, maybe because of emotion, because you had a bunch of your own people slaughtered? Certainly. How uh, many were slaughtered? What's the death toll? 4,000? I don't know either. I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's a number of pops in my head. That's a lot. But it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It, do, it doesn't matter. That like, it doesn't matter uh, that there's now ten thousand, the, the forty thousand Palestinians dead. I mean, what what is a what is an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth in this case? I don't disagree with. That. I don't disagree with the emotion of what you want to do when people are coming into your country and fucking killing you and raping you, beheading children. This is what government is for, to be a non-emotional fucking place of, of thought and fucking planning. Because you got all the money in the fucking world paying for fucking people to come up with solutions to tough fucking problems. Have you witnessed oh, government yeah, doing that ever? Plenty. I've seen plenty of good shit go on. I've seen plenty of good planning, plenty of good fucking responses, plenty of good fucking operations. We got governments here that are that are allowed that are paying like, through grants and in philanthropies for every child in this community who lives here throughout their life to go to college for free. This is a government fucking program. There's examples all around, but that's really not the point. But you're not you're not that the the response to terrorism, like the U.S. response to terrorism was 9/11, and we fucking how'd we do in Afghanistan? Fuck Did that work out pretty well. Uh, and and in Iraq, it's like what did we learn? Uh, that I, you can't kill a nothing. motherfucking idea. You can't bomb it. Indeed. You know, and yeah. this is the point of this all to me. This Hamas right. is saying, of course, oh, God, they're just playing right into our hands. So oh, there's no chance now for Saudi Arabia-Israel peace agreement, which was on the verge. There's no chance now that the Arab countries are going to embrace Israel in any way now that this has happened. It's so great that we now have militia in uh, Syria and Hezbollah, which is one of the best formed, best armed militias in the world, who are firing rockets. The United States is shooting them down, and Hamas is saying, oh God, it's going to be a Mideast fucking uh, imbroglio. That's where it's headed. They are one decision away from making this a world fucking war with fucking the United States in it. China and Russia are suggesting quite loudly that they are advising the Arab countries on the strategies over this conflict. And they have, China anyway, has the arms to back it up. Russia, not so much. So, all of this going on, and when 
fucking Netanyahu decides something other than a precision strike and kill women and children, Hamas dances in their fucking headquarters and say, we lost five of us or ten of us, we lost one headquarters. This is going exactly like we wanted it to. The world is turning against no, they, Israel. Perfect. They, they, they bomb their, they, they bomb sure. their own people. So what? Like Hamas. Now they got they, Israel. They, they, now they got Israel killing they people. They shoot rockets at... They coaxed them into it. They coaxed them into it. They pulled them into it. They tricked them into it. The whole world. <coughs> so, like, what the fuck? Like, do we just have to be like, no. We're going to stop. And you guys, uh, we won't... We won't respond when you smack us. No, like, no, no, no. Is there, so a, you, is there you, a solution? You've done this twice now, and you've set up a straw man argument. There is no suggestion. There no, is no, no I'm, suggestion I'm, I'm in any word I've spoken in the past 10 minutes of Israel doing nothing. Wasn't, that, that option's not on the table. A precise, a okay, precise so what is, on the table? is certainly not doing nothing. And, and, and to say... So you, you, so your suggestion is a calculated, precise hit that causes no uh, not twelve hundred damage, not two thousand five ten whatever. These are the numbers. This is what we're looking at. But you, but do, do do you understand that? Do you understand that Hamas like hides I understand inside it. schools? And certainly, of I know this. So how do you how do you how do you do a precise strike on people? That I don't are know, bro. That's children. their job to fucking figure it out. And here's the thing: if they don't figure but, it out, they're never going to get anywhere because if they can't figure that out, they certainly aren't going to figure out how to kill a fucking idea. This is inept. So in that case, in that case, there's no there's no like if you're coming at me with a bunch of children in front of you, and I have my machine guns. And you're shooting at me behind children. Headshot. Headshot. Am I supposed to just like take Headshot. your? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy to say. And by accident, you killed two kids. All right. That's not ten. That's not ten. Right. You got to defend yourself. There's casualties of war. I understand there's casualties of war. What I'm suggesting is that the 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 thought of. The amount of the casualty of it, war should be a little higher fucking consideration on the fucking Israeli government that we're supporting with more money. Of course, it, 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 the amount of money we give Israel shrivels compared to what we're giving Ukraine. I mean, it's the current uh, request to Congress for okay. Israel is $16 billion, while fucking Ukraine, I think, is 40 maybe as high as $60 billion. To, so that Russia can't win. Okay. But it, it's... I mean, what the fuck do you do with all that money? And while they're lobbing indiscriminate... That's what uh, the money's paying for. That's what we're paying for. We're replenishing their stockade of missiles and rockets and destruction. That's what we're doing. We're going to make sure that that motherfucking rocket that killed all those fucking kids in that refugee camp, that we replace it for them. Because we fucking support that. We support that. We support what you do with that motherfucking missile to the point that we're going to pay for the fucking missile that goes into the fucking launcher that we'll fucking pay for that too. That's complicit. That's blood on our fucking hands. You gotta I, figure out a better fucking way. I'm not sure what your what your stance is here because it's like use your leverage, use your leverage from the weapons that we're paying for, and say to Netanyahu, you can't keep doing this. That was the last straw. Two, three decisions ago, you motherfucker, you're gonna fucking give one and two hour pauses to exchange fucking survival stuff, and 
you're going to fucking recalibrate what you're fucking doing with this fucking bombing, which yeah, looks a lot like happen. fucking genocide and is, by the way, against the inter- international rule of fucking uh, uh, the law, the, the, the war, law and war, international, right? This is what the United States should be saying. And instead, we believe, we heard part, they're saying that privately. And in the meantime... Biden loses Michigan because we got 13% of the Arab population in the United States living near Detroit, the second largest enclave of Arab-speaking people in the world. We are now a Trump state. Yes. No shit. We are now a Trump state. That's what you're doing, Joe, by talking privately to Netanyahu and using our fucking money to kill women and children. When you're wringing your hands and you're having the same fucking conversation I am with your fucking aides behind fucking closed doors, and then you go fucking public and you just talk about fucking Israel. Again, oh, and we want the hostages, this and that. Oh, we want a two-state solution. So I I, I have a question. Uh, When Americans have been throwing around the word genocide lately, uh, and you just did. Uh, when you say that, which which side are you Who's talking about? Who's committing genocide? Both. Both yeah. Hamas. Hamas is a Hamas has a, a mission of genocide, of destruction of Israel. Where would Israel, Israel is? Where would Israel, Israel is not doing? Have mission. Is killing so many women and children that it appears to be genocide. Because they're being used as shields. Listen, man, you think that every fucking refugee in that fucking building was a shield? It's only a shield if you're fucking throwing a bomb against it. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's it, and I'm not suggesting in any way, shape, or form, this is easy. But I'm telling you, Biden's having the same fucking feelings and thoughts I am. And instead of going up front in the camera and telling, calling Netanyahu and saying, listen, you're going to stop this shit. If you don't, if you don't stop give what? us pauses every 12 hours for an hour, indiscriminately, however you want to do it, if you don't do that starting tomorrow, pauses. your fucking money's tied up. And if you continue to have a high casualty ratio... As you do, as we know you do, if you do that, the money will stop. He needs to go out and tell the American people, that's what I told him. We want the Israeli people to survive. Netanyahu is Netanyahu is doing a shitty job running this fucking war just like he did a shitty job running the fucking government. With all the fucking assault on the yeah. fucking judiciary, all the right wing bullshit that he's been doing for all these years, he's wrong again. And Biden it should say it, enough. I rest my case. What do you what do you mean by pauses? Pauses as opposed to a ceasefire, as I understand them, are shorter in duration and a whole lot less announced. And a whole lot less uniform. So if there's a ceasefire in an entire country, that's one thing. But if there's a pause in 16 neighborhoods that it takes to get from the fucking gate in Egypt to the fucking refugee camp that they just fucking bombed and get some food and shit for the women and children they managed not to fucking kill, that's a pause. Yeah. And it doesn't give Hamas the opportunity to regroup, which is the ceasefire does. There's an announced ceasefire, and they say, wow, we got 12 hours, replenish the troops, get the shit going. No, don't do that. But And here's the thing. Okay. Listen, there's people getting paid a lot of fucking money, a lot of dedicated servants of the government who are not getting a lot of money. This is their job to figure that out. If I can fucking talk about it with some degree of fucking clarity, then why the fuck don't they act on it? You think that you think I'm the only one who thinks that Biden's got a fucking albatross around his fucking neck? Google albatross Netanyahu and Biden and see how many fucking articles come up. 
this is a fucking disaster. But albatross is a is a bird. Yes. With a and why uh, why uh, apparently they don't fly very good or something. I mean, why why is an albatross around your neck? Where'd that come from? That's a little lighter subject. We could you, we could. Do. It just came. It, I just heard it from yes, you. you I've never heard that before. But it's an albatross around your neck. I mean, just like what do you uh, what do you call a uh, what do you call a uh, birdie on a or a uh, two holes on a, a on a par five. On a par an five, albatross. albatross. Why albatross? But, but an albatross around your, around your neck. You know what? Because it they're more be rare. An albatross around your neck was a way that they punished yes. convicts. That they had to wear a dead bird wrapped around their neck. Back in the days when they had stockades and shit. Back when, back in when the we good had old days. And, and actual justice. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I. Uh, I heard an interesting thought idea the other day that has me thinking, uh, especially given our history together, uh, that a lot of this conflict in the Middle East and everything is about justice. It's about getting... Uh, Getting justice for those that were harmed on your side, getting justice to harm those on the on the other side, and uh, and the idea that came to me and blew, kind of blew my mind was, what if justice is not a, really a thing? Like, what if, however much, uh, if you're wife was killed and you helped put the guy away that did it do you feel satisfied is is has just is justice really a thing or are you still the definition of justice uh, in the simplest terms is getting things back the way they were before something happened and so the the, the but is it satisfying justice, a pure justice is impossible. There's just no such thing. You cannot make it the way that it was. You cannot replace your wife. You cannot. Uh, uh, you can replace your door that's been broken into, but you can't erase the fact of coming home with a broken door, and your, and, and not only your your things stolen. But your your pictures smashed and 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 in your house, whatever messed by deranged, uh, you know, fucking uh, uh, fascists, you know. You can't get rid of that, and so the only thing you can do fucking is seek Netanyahu justice. Netanyahu came into my house, and when you seek justice, you know what you're seeking is as much it's justice as him. you can get. Well, how much justice do you want? Your wife, let's say. Someone, let's talk about a housebreaking rather than a murder. Someone broke in your house. They destroyed it. They did this. They did that. They stole shit. What's justice? Well, I want my stuff back. Okay, we can do that. We can say to the guy who did it, you have to give him all, you have to give him money to get all of his stuff back. And and so that's good news. The bad news is it probably isn't going to happen because the motherfucker who broke into the place doesn't have enough fucking money. That's why he fucking broke in. <laughs> So you're seeking justice. No shit. Is there some sense of justice? There's a sense of justice in the decision by the courts. But we'll see whether or not that justice actually is implemented in a way that meets the definition of justice. Because let me tell you, dude, I, I don't have a new front door. It's still boarded up. I can't afford a new stereo system. It's fucking gone. So no, I don't feel justice. Yep. Five years later. Oh wow! The guy got got a job. He'll pay a five years. Was justice met? Now it took too long. So complicate that by a factor of five, ten, twenty times because of the egregiousness and the violence of the crime, and we're looking for justice. And someone who murdered your 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 loved one ends up being taken to the penitentiary and, and is one of the few that ends up being killed and you get to be the person who watches that 
you watch that and right. you say to that person, was justice done? And they will say 100% of the time, no, but it sure was getting there. It sure was something. It wasn't nothing, but it sure is fuck ain't justice. Why? It'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. Right. Exactly. And uh, What so, they mean is revenge. They don't mean justice. From, they mean fucking revenge. Yes, yes, yes. And aside from how that totally correlates to literally everything in the Middle East uh, that we were, were just talking about, uh, that the, we have shaped our government and our laws around revenge that doesn't make us happier. Like, you talk to well, the parents of the of the of the kids that were that were that were uh, sure. in Sandy Hook or whatever, or and and they're like, uh, look, I uh, I wish I had my kid, but I but I don't, uh, you know, I don't want harm to come to in the entire family of the of the shooter or whatever uh and it's just well there's the there's how if you make i don't think there's a whole lot of distinction between the idea of, of revenge and punishment i believe that revenge uh in this case could very easily be described as punishment punishment is in fact one of the four goals of the criminal justice system is to punish the people who did it the other goal is that when people see that you're punished for doing that thing, that you were deterred from doing that thing, that's the second goal, which is deterrence. How, how, it doesn't how well work. does that work, though? And then the third goal is, is restoration, right? To what degree can you, can you, can you seek and find some semblance of justice? And then there's general deterrence, there's that well, J word so again. It, yeah. it, 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 it's, it's, as we well know, it's a joke to say, well, the criminal justice system is imperfect. That's funny. Because everybody knows, yeah. everybody in this country, everybody, that the criminal justice system is fucking well, and, broken. Everybody. We've known it. Every, we've known it when it was being formed. You go back to the 1860s, 1870s. There was no justice system. There were people just being shot and killed and fucking drugged out and buried, and there was nothing of the kind. People were punished in rags and whatnot. And as it evolved into this but, current system of, of parole and probation and judicial, all along the way, everybody knew this isn't working very well. But it's better than what we had. It's better than what we had. Okay, so 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 let's... Let's uh, thought experiment. If we wiped everything clear, and <coughs> we admitted that we admitted that justice is not really a thing, why would we admit that? Uh, if you want to say that we understand the just, limitations of the of the seeking of justice, that's fine. I'm with you, but not to say that justice is not a thing. It is a thing, but, and there are. There are ways to approach but, it. There are ways to. Um, but but if if you if you steal my five dollar bill, and I, how can I get listen, justice for, for for that? Let me tell you. If I come let's and I take that, it back let, from you, say, or if I punch you, or a guy that knock breaks you down, into or, your house, breaks down your door, rips off your stereo, destroys all your shit. He's under under court order for restitution. He's going to pay it back over five years. And on top of it, sure. he is beside himself, and he meets you. He wants to meet you, and he grasps you by the hand, and he says, I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know if you'll ever forgive me. And he might say a million things about why he did it or whatever his state of mind was or, or his drugs or whatever. But at the end of the day, he says, I'm sorry. And if that person says, you know what, in my heart of hearts, now that I've met you and now that you're asking for forgiveness, I'm going to forgive you. Now, if someone says to that person who forgave him, was justice met, your answer would be not fully, 
But it sure it sure went because pretty Justice far. Isn't. A whole lot better than the last time I was broken into. I never talked to the guy. He was never sorry. I never did get my shit back. These are two real life stories. So Look, Justice, that is a that is that is within wrapped in my, the concept my, of justice restoration. My my theory is that justice as we call it is never meant. I started with that premise. I started with that premise and everything when, that I'm when, saying is that give me give me an example where justice as you has seek been justice, meant. There is an incremental amount of justice. There are justice events. And, but, and is it pure justice because yes, it is the but way? But you never get you never no, get it's there. not the way that it was, but it's not as bad as it could have been. We're approaching it. I feel better about what's happened, and I feel now not only like I did as good as I did before this happened. I actually feel better than I did because I was put given a chance to meet this person who asked for forgiveness, and I was given a chance to forgive, and that brings me into the grace of God. I, I, I would love that. I would love that. I, I agree that that would be beautiful, and I would... It's I real would, life. I appreciate that. But, but, my, but my point is that the word justice is serving none of us. It's not giving us any value. As, as we have well, defined. It's, if you're so supportive of the example I gave you, you know, I didn't make it up. No, no, no. That's not, but um, we don't need to use that. We don't need, need to use the J word. We just need to say, you know, forgiveness. Well, no, no. Well, the, if, right? the, if the uh, headline of the, uh, of the uh, topic is, is, is just as possible, which is the way you started this, the, the answer is right. that, yeah, you can call it forgiveness, but that forgiveness is, in fact, an element of justice being accomplished. And it's not pure justice. It's not. But, but you said it's not accomplished. It's, it's you not said it's what? not accomplished. It's, it's, it's not accomplished. It's not across the like board we get by any stretch. Close to it, it's, but it's, never, it's, it's, never, it's never actually no, accomplished. No, it's never fully accomplished. But I'm suggesting that there are examples of. of, of positive results from seeking justice which are in fact um, right a justice what if, event what if, I don't what know if we what if it. what if we organized our system around uh, forgiveness and understanding rather than of what justice being done forgiveness and understanding or or when you read the literature, that, when you read the, because the word justice imply the word the word justice implies that uh, you you took my <laughs> eye and I'll take your eye, like. <clears throat> Let me tell you. Like that's that's where it, it comes from and boils down from, but the uh, it's just it kind of when you read the literature. It, on the four purposes of the criminal justice system, you will see in the uh, descriptions of restoration yeah. issues of forgiveness, etc. It is, in fact, incorporated. And if you call it one rather than the other, I suppose that it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, but my point is this it is in fact what's intended along the way the path to justice leads through some degree of, of a balance between punishment retribution punishment specific deterrence into you know general deterrence etc restoration um, not a not and, and the reason that the system is widely understood to be mostly broken is because it mostly doesn't do any of that. It's a, it's a rare event that I've described to you. It's one in a, it's one in a hundred thousand. Right. It's a real case. Jesus. 
but it's one in a hundred thousand. I'll tell you, one of the things in the criminal, one of the things that I did in the criminal justice system, you got a guy who's a defendant who broke into the guy's house and smashed his, his pictures and took a stereo and broke through his front door. And I'm your lawyer. And I, as a lawyer, take you, defendant, to meet with your victim to tell him that you're, you're going to accept this restitution, do your best to pay it back, and you're heartily sorry. Then you go back to court and you say to the judge, Judge, I asked the victim whether or not he wants this guy to do jail time. Let me play you the video of what the guy said. Absolutely not, I don't want him to do jail time. Because when he's in jail, he isn't going to work and he isn't going to pay me back the money he owes me. And frankly, I want my shit back. I want the situation to get back more than the way it was. I care a whole lot more about restoration than I do about punishment. Wow. It's punishment enough if this motherfucker who did this to me is going to have to work for a living flipping fucking burgers instead of taking the easy way out and breaking into somebody's house. And frankly, I get some satisfaction from thinking that I've got a hand in him doing better. I know this. I know he won't do better if he goes in jail because when he gets out of jail, he's an ex-convict and that's even worse than being fucking poor and black and unemployed and fucking with, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. So, no, I don't want that, Judge. You know what the judge does almost all the time? The judge says, I ain't sending him to jail. Go forth. Do good. So that's, that's huh. uh, 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 an example of, of activated uh, uh, justice where the people who are wronged are the people who are telling the judge what it means to be wronged and what it means to be righted. So when you've got an activated system that can't, it can't possibly be because there's not enough time. You got 98% of all cases going through court are adjudicated through a plea bargain before they even go to court. And all the judge does is say, oh, you guys both agree to this? Prosecutor, yep. All right, good, boom, next case. There's no examination in the justice system. That justice decisions are being made by the prosecutor who works for the people and the, the defense attorney and to whatever extent, who he represents, which probably isn't a great extent, because he goes in to cut a deal and says, you know, we're going to take this felony, knock it down to a misdemeanor, and you get two months instead of two years. Boy, that's the best I can get, because they got the evidence, but they don't want to go through all the expense of a jury trial. Let's do this. They fucking agree, and they go. That's every day, thousands of cases, every day, every day, every day, every day. Where's the justice there? Beats the fuck out of me, man. Okay, but you you understand that to pull us back, sadly, uh, to Israel and Palestine, that both sides have a a, a long list of shit that you guys did to us. That we're gonna that 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 calls us to arms to fight against you in the name of justice because you killed uh, my people and it's kind of like a, a sure. never-ending uh, whirlpool of well, it is now. Violence. I don't know. Imagine, but it, well, it, it always, always has, has been. been. True, 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 and. The current ceasefire, which was on October 6th, there had been in effect for years a ceasefire between Palestine and Israel. And, and for, they took advantage of the ceasefire to go ahead and plan what they considered to be the most successful invasion and slaughter of Israelis. They were beyond their wildest dreams. Everything is happening beyond no, their wildest it, it dreams. Is. Yep, they they were they were surprised how easy it was. 
It's well, yeah. and and so but, so who is in but, charge but, of the who is in but, charge but of you the get, country you get my at point that time? About, what was his name? Uh, but, but hold on, you get my point about uh, justice being a toxic cyclic force here where you killed my uncle and I killed your uncle. You killed my uncle, so I'm going to kill 20 uncles. That's the difference. I'm going to kill 20 uncles. You're going to be sorry you killed my fucking uncle. This isn't an eye for an eye. Uh Uh-uh. You fucking killed my uncle. Which 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 side are you Israel. saying that for? Israel. Because it's not clear. Hamas came in and killed their uncle. Cut Israel his head off. terrible. And what Israel's response is? Okay. I'm going to kill ten uncles. That's I'm. Am I wrong? Oh. Look at the numbers. No, and, and then not only that, you killed my uh, uncle. I'm not only going to kill ten uncles. I'm going to kill ten uncles' wives and ten uncles' fucking children. You'd be sorry you kill my fucking uncle. You're saying that's what but Israel no, is what telling... Israel's doing. I don't know what they're saying. Palestine. I don't know how much they're... Ooh. Okay, I think... I think we have different sources of Why? Uh, information. How many people do you think that? have been killed by Israel, Israel and since the bombing started? How many civilians? I don't know the numbers, but I but I but I know I from my sources uh, I think that that Hamas has come and killed uh, um I don't know. There, there are innocent people on oh, sure. both sides that have died. And, and if you uh, want to look at the numbers, let's but, say, for example, we could find this out. It's but it's not twenty five hundred versus. There, there's 10, one. Th- one thing is numbers, and the other is the other is ideas, where uh, Israel is defending their their. Uh, the, the bombing of the refugee camp was not a defensive posture. It was an offensive posture. It was an offense. There wasn't any, there wasn't okay. any, there I, wasn't, I, it, to, to my knowledge, there wasn't any recognition that. And the initial attack was. was off, is the worst offensive, which requires deep retribution, okay. deep punishment, and there are going to be casualties of war. Justice. As they, saw, as they yeah. seek justice. It's out of kilter now. It's out of kilter now. Well, okay. I don't have the numbers with me, but uh, it's a <laughs> fucked up. This situation. has probably so, been our uh, one of our most fun episodes. <laughs> Just talk. I'm about really it. <laughs> fucking happy. Fucking it, hour, well, man. It's what uh, people do lately when they have a drink together. So tonight, shortly. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me one second. Jesus criminy. Dennis wants to cough. Cough, cough, cough. Dennis um, is coughing. Is the third oh, Republican right. debate down to five? Robert Swamy, Chris Christie, DeSantis, um, Nikki, uh, what's her name? Haley. South Carolina. Haley. And uh, look, Trump is, Trump, Trump is going to win. Trump is going to win. So I've he's not coming before. again. Trump is going to win. And check out this statistic. The highest ranking person at the debate by way of support is DeSantis with 17%. That's Haley, why. Who's an up and comer and, and going to is pre announced to win this debate tonight because her foreign policy chops are great. She's going to do a great job. Right? She's VP material. Yes. yes. So she's at 10%. Okay. When you add these five together, the percentage they have, all of them together, Trump still is higher. 
And so yes. the debate tonight is the subtitle is just in case Trump is assassinated. Because it doesn't matter if he's in jail, he'll still win. It doesn't matter if he's a convicted sure. felon, he'll still win. He's dead. If he's dead, he could he die of lose. a heart attack. He is obese. He is 77. And he's terribly out of shape. He's worse shape. Biden's in much better shape than he is physically, yeah. I assure you. That would be my guess. For, for sure. Um, and uh, that's, the, that's the subtext. If he should be killed or die, if he's removed from the planet, we're your choices. That's the subtext. It's the only possible so option How sad is that? that they can consider as credible why they should continue to the race huh. because Trump could die before the election. How sad is that? That's the saddest fucking thing. Yes. Well, look, I called it. I'm calling it again. Uh, November 2024. You, Trump wins. You didn't call it last time because Biden won. <laughs> no, I in called it. I called it. Several, against Hillary? No, 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 no. Of course, no one called that. Uh, but I, but I called it like uh, six months ago or whatever when I said Trump is going to win, and he will. Trump. He won't. It's going to. It's going to happen. But who will? What's your what's your what? The two candidates like we're voting on a year from now, neither one will be named Trump or Biden. Wrap your head around that. Bullshit. But Wrap no, your head no, around nope, that. Nope, I gotta nope, go, bro. Nope. It's been fascinating. Nope. I bet you, I bet you fifty <laughs> cents. I can't afford it. I love you. All right, bro. I love you, man. It's been good we'll to talk, uh, we'll talk fishing and, and music next time. Oh, uh, hopefully next Wednesday Jesus. I'm out. I'm going back east. I'm going on a journey to go visit my two brothers. Um, back to State College, PA, then on okay, to Dunkirk. Then. I'm going to be doing fishing of brown trout in the mighty oak. They have a run of brown trout. My brother landed right, 15 brown trout. If you know how beautiful a brown trout is, I'll give you another picture to post. But beautiful fish. That's where I'm headed. Wow, what an uplifting episode. That's it for episode number 198. You can find the show notes at happyhour.fm slash 198, although there are not that many. And you can help support the show at patreon.com slash happyhour. Please don't try and cancel us over these opinions. And we will see you, I guess, in two weeks.